A video was leaked today. High stakes secrecy and explosive news leaks. WikiLeaks changed the world forever. And in the middle of it all is WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, played on target by Benedict Cumberbatch. If you give him a mask. The fifth state tracks the ascension of Assange and WikiLeaks from a struggling internet upstart to the world's most debated and feared organization. Conspiracy. I like the performances of the cast, headed by Cumberbatch and Daniel Bruhl as Assange's German tech advisor, Daniel Berg. But stealing scenes is Laura Linney as Deputy Undersecretary of State, Sarah Shaw. He's suspicious of a lot of people. What I didn't like is that the film gives you too much information and not a whole lot of narrative. From director Bill Condon, the guy who gave us Gods and Monsters, Dreamgirls, and yes, the last two Twilight movies, The Fifth Estate is part espionage, part documentary, and it's obvious that the film is aiming for your brain. But it totally misses your heart. Repressive of regimes. What I like best about the movie is it digs deep into the intricacies of the relationships between the characters, but it's bogged down by melodrama. There's a better movie in there somewhere. Maybe we'll find it just a few clicks away. Five times his life. And for that, the fifth estate gets two and a half in Felix's kisses. From espionage to the supernatural, let's talk about Carrie. We can never forget the classic 1976 Carrie, starring Piper Laurie as the mother and Sissy Spacek in the title role. Not even the new reimagined Carrie can erase the fact that Brian De Palma's version of the Stephen King novel is the penultimate adaptation of the popular book about a girl who just wants to fit in, but just don't make her mad. I did enjoy the performances by Julianne Moore as the crazy mom and Chloe Grace Moretz as the shy girl who unleashes telekinetic terror on her small town after being pushed too far at her senior prom. This one's from director Kimberly Pierce, who gave us the Oscar-winning Boys Don't Cry, but yet, this new carry feels totally unnecessary and utterly dispensable. But I'm not gonna lie, I still feel joy seeing the story of Carrie White on the big screen. Pig's blood, violence, and all. And for that, Carrie gets two and a half. They're gonna laugh at you. Kisses. So there you have it, movie buffs. The Fifth Estate is a little thrilling, but I have a soft spot for Carrie. I'm Manny, the movie guy. Don't make me mad.